Hey y'all, it's Leah from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project here. We are looking at the beautiful Rio Blanco River on a beautiful evening. That sky is gorgeous. So I wanted to talk to you again a little bit about water. Uh, we've talked about water on the channel several times. Um, if you are planning for your long-term survival, water should be your very first consideration. Uh, for obvious reasons, I think, I hope. Um, so I actually bought a house two weeks ago in a secret location. Um, the reasons why I did that, considering that we're building a house, are somewhat involved, so I won't get into that here. Um, now because we are in a river valley here, we have the benefit of being able to install um, gallery wells, which are shallow wells, as opposed to deep drilled wells, um, which utilize the groundwater as opposed to the water that's very deep and has to be drilled for. Um, now this has a couple of benefits. Um, if you are drilling a well, your first drill is gonna cost you about 15 grand. And not only do you have to hope that you're going to hit water, but you have to hope that the quality of the water is good. And around these parts, um, what very commonly happens with drilled wells is you get very high sulfur and other mineral content that requires a significant amount of treatment. Um, here, this house is serviced by a gallery well. Um, none of this decorative stuff is involved. Um, that is the well right there. This is just to dress it up a little bit. Um, now, despite the fact that this is a gallery well, um, the water here is still very hard. Um, <clears throat> usually anything above 15 GPG or grains per gallon is considered very hard. And uh, the water here comes in at 40 GPG. Um, so that really needed to be addressed. Um, so these are the other considerations. If you're on a well, the other things that you have to think about. Um, this has been sort of a learning experience for me because everywhere that I've lived prior to moving to Colorado, I have been on a municipal water system and I had no experience with these kinds of things. So there's been, you know, a good deal of learning about wells and the equipment that goes along with them. Which brings me to the utility room. So everything on the right side of this room, with the exception of the tank in the corner there, um, is actually related to a hydronic uh, radiant floor heating system in this house. So this is a closed system. You've got a instant hot water heater. You've got a small pressure tank. And then you have all of the zone valves and the thermostat control that goes with it. Um, this is not related to the well water at all. This is a closed system. Once it's full of water, uh, that's it. You're done. Um, you know, don't have to bring any additional water in. No water has to exit. Um, but from the well, for the house running water, you have the water coming in from the well, and the first place it goes is to this pressure tank. This is what pressurizes the water in your house. Um, obviously, if you're on a municipal system, the water is already pressurized coming from whatever water treatment facility when it enters your house. Um, and then from here, this water gets filtered. So we just added this filtration system here. So this is a uh, carbon filter. Um, this baby will remove any sediment all the way down to five microns. Um, this is pretty important. Um, we had some issues with water discoloration in this house. The water was kind of a yellowish brown. That may have to do with sediment. It could also had, have had something to do with some amount of iron content. It could also be tannins or iron bacteria. Um, but anyway, this will remove the sediment. And then from here, after the sediment is removed, it comes here. And this is actually a UV bulb in here. And the water passes through and it's hit with the UV. And this will remove any bacteria that's present. Um, now, the water in this house was tested for, bac for bacteria, 
and it showed no E. coli and no coliforms, so that's great. However, with a well, especially a gallery well, it's always possible for your well to become contaminated at any point. And if you're not testing your water on a regular basis, you wouldn't necessarily know that. So we opted to put in this UV system to treat for bacteria um, so that we don't ever have to worry about it. So that's pretty great. Um, and then from the filtration system, this water goes into a softening system. This is a brand new softening system. Um, this plus the tank in the corner, which just holds the softening salts that have to be filled periodically. Um, there was a softener in this house. Um, however, it was not hooked up and um, it looked like it wasn't, it probably wasn't functioning or it broke. Um, so that's probably why it was no longer hooked up. Um, and this seems to be a better softening system anyway, so we just opted to replace it. So there's the softening system. This is a bypass valve. If for any reason you don't want the water to go through the softener at any point, you can just turn the valve and turn it off. I don't know why you would do that, but... Um, and then in the back here is a traditional hot water heater. This just uh, provides us with hot water for showers and, 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 and the sink and whatnot. Um, so I'm kind of blown away that the previous owners of this house did not have the softening system hooked up because like I said, the water was extremely hard um, and it really showed on all of the plumbing fixtures. It's bad for your plumbing, it's bad for your plumbing fixtures, and it's also not good for your health to be ingesting that quantity of minerals all the time. You could end up with kidney stones or have other health problems. Um, some mineral content in your water is a good thing, and it does make your water taste better, but not at 40 grains per gallon. Um, so this is going to save some wear on Terra on the health of the house as well as our own health. And there is one more item here show you, which is the last step, um, which is that we put in a reverse osmosis system under the sink for drinking water. And the reason that we did that is because um, also the water tested very high in total dissolved solids, or TDS. Um, well, maybe not that high, but the US EPA considers anything above 500 parts per million uh, to be uh, not good drinking water, and this came in at 595 parts per million. Um, total dissolved solids, TDS is uh, usually uh, sodium-based. Um, there are free mineral ions in the water. Um, you cannot remove them with a carbon uh, filtration system. That house filtration water system cannot remove TDS, but the reverse osmosis system can. So we put this in as well, and as you'll see, it also has multiple filters, um, and then it has this uh, reverse osmosis tank. Um, and we will add one other item here um, in that last space that's available, which is a mineral boost. This is kind of funny because we just put in these systems to remove all of these minerals, um, and then we're going to add some back at the end. Um, the water currently tastes a little flat, and that is due to the lack of minerals. And certain, as I said, a certain amount of mineral content um, is definitely good for you. Um, so we'll be adding a little bit back, but not at the level of 40 parts per million or 595, excuse me, not at the level of 40 grains per gallon, um, and not at the level of 595 uh, total dissolved solids parts per million. So, um, all of these things are pretty important and very happy with the results and happy to have had this addressed. Um, hopefully we can salvage a lot of the plumbing fixtures. None of them are not working, but some of them are a bit clogged. You may have seen this before with hard water. It's not at this sink, but sometimes you'll see like a buildup of uh, white minerals. Actually, you can see it right here at the faucet handle. Um, and in some of the bathroom fixtures, the aerators on the faucets are really clogged up. Um, sometimes you can remove that um, with a uh, mineral dissolver, the name of which is escaping me right now, but it's a product on the market that you'll find anywhere. Um, in any case, 
very happy to be having good drinking water as well as water that is safe for the house itself. Um, and also the water discoloration that we experienced previously is gone. The water is completely clear now. So that's pretty great. Anyway, I uh, hope you learned something. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and take care. Bye.